Hello everyone and welcome to today's session. Today we're going to look at Aminote and another way of accessing it and this time not by clicking on the word Aminote but this time by clicking on the actual file, the PDF file, which makes a lot more sense. Now this can only be fixed by the admin of the Moodle site. So teachers and students can't do anything about it. Let me show you what it looks like and then I'll show you as the admin how you can set it up. So what we've got here is a course. Let me just get rid of the right here. We don't need that block and scroll down until I get to Aminote. I'm in as a student. You can see that I'm in as a participant at the top right. Scroll down until I get to a reading task. Notice this reading task is in a folder, which means that there are more than, well, two or more articles. Let me click on that and notice what I see here. I've got the download folder. I'm going to ignore that. I don't want to download right now. I just want to be able to annotate. That's what students want to do. Click on the first one. There are two here. There could be more, of course. Click on the first one, and this makes it a lot more intuitive. Notice when you click on view here, you'll be able to download to your system. Right now, I'm going to click on the green anecdote, which is Aminote, and then allow, in case I haven't allowed it before. Wait a few seconds. And I get, I get a pop-up afterwards, which I'm going to also stop. Notice here I get a next, okay, a little bit of uh, encouragement here to use it from the producers of Aminote. Notice everything that I've added before is always saved, but to make sure that things are saved, I can, let me get rid of that, I can click on the save. Okay, so let's uh, refresh that, and here we are. Let me just um, adjust it. Now, what happens is, notice at the top right, is that when you click on the left here, it kind of uh, highlights the whole thing, which can be confusing, and it is in most cases. So let me go back here and annotate again. Right, so if you find that, let me know, or you can send feedback. So we're gonna come back here because it happened. Try not to click on the left, but click on the right, the three lines just beside my name, or in your case, your name or image there. And then notice what happens. You've got view with a lot of options, edit, export and save. Save it just to make sure that it's saved. And that's it. Everything else is the same. You can also maximize the PDF, get a summary, thumbnails, collaborate, zoom, and enable dragging, which I really love. And there's a tutorial for you. Right now, it's side by side. How do I know? Because if I go into anything else, there's a summary of the work that I've been doing. If I want to take a look at like that, or I can have the note taking with a view side by side. And there is the collaborate as well, so that uh, you can also add it to a post question. You can add comments. Isn't that amazing? And then you can send it, of course. There are no posts on this page, but that's for collaboration. You can also have a discussion under collaboration. Let me go back into view. And this time we're going to go to the note editor or the side by side that no longer appears here. So basically this is how it's done. You've got the A where you can add your comments or questions or take notes. And then next to the A on the left, this is where you can add the numbers and then they appear under the discussion. Next to that is colors and size if you want to change the font and then there is 
the highlighter where you can also get various colors. You can also time yourself, and I love this timer. That's basically it. Let me go back now to site administration. I'm going to go in so that you can see what the administrator of the Moodle site can do. I'm going to add Aminote. Now, there are various features or views that you can have for your students, and it's for the whole site. So Aminote, notice here, target, everything, the best experience, Aminote site. But I prefer to have it on the Moodle. I don't want students to go off. Okay, the reminders here, let me go back here to Aminote Worksheet. Okay, the activation code and so on. Now, let's go back. I'm looking for the settings. Now, notice here, opening mode. That's what you want to change. Now, by default, just click on the resource, which is the PDF files. But it doesn't have to be PDF. It could also be a video, YouTube or Vimeo or any other video. So it's not necessarily a PDF file. It could be other files. And then you've got the Aminote logo. If you add the Aminote logo next to the resources to your PDF files, then they will have to click on the logo. If you have a small icon next to the resources, I'll click on that. What I've had so far was the Aminote logo next to the resources, and people were really confused. Right now, what I changed it to and what you saw is click on the resource, and this is really the best experience. That's where they can see. Let me go back here. That's what you saw. I'm going to go back so you get a chance to see it. Scroll down where I'm a participant. By the way, teachers need to turn editing off in order to view the Aminote. Otherwise, they won't be able to see it. So here we are, read two articles, click on that. And then all I need to do to reach the Aminote workspace is to click, let me click on the other one, peer learning, is to click on it. And then I can just go to Aminote and here I am back here again. I don't think I have anything here. And then I'll start all over. If you want to make it larger, of course. And that's go to the top three. Don't go to the left there. It uh, causes confusion. And then uh, notice the view. You can have take notes and have a discussion here as well because uh, I'm under side by side. You can also maximize it so you see you view only the pdf but you can still annotate notice and it'll appear a you can add text here uh, let me add hello no that didn't work because maybe we need to change the color of the font okay so i'll make sure that uh, it's colors that you can see and uh, next to that are the numbers i can just add one and then add my notes to this, yes, I agree, or anything else that you like to add. And then when we go to the side, you don't have to save anything, but when we go to the view and side by side, there is the side by side that I kept mentioning. So you go, you will see it there. So you can have the large view, maximize PDF, and then you can simply, if you go down, you'll be able to go to the next pages and so on. If you have any questions about Aminote, and how to use it on Moodle, join us on Moodle for Teachers. I'll add the link in the uh, description of this video. And subscribe for more. Questions are always welcome. Have a great day and enjoy reading with Aminote. It really makes a huge difference.